look soon enough. Get on the other side. If Aelfer's sister spoke true, I will find answers in the ruins. This must be it. The door to Aelfer's secrets. I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. The other side must be barred. Everything they did was to undermine Elfred. 
She lied to me. There is nothing here of the Order. I should see Alfred for my reward. Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. your chance, damn you! I did not want it.
The order in Winchester has been... My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The order wanted him dead. Alfred? The line between friend... Something happened. You will want to speak to him yourself. Eivor, the time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more. On my final voyage, back to Norway, to wish my father farewell, and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway. I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting.
good to see you, darling. I want to see the Alliance map. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... And beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. We'll leave now, and return as soon as we're able. Good. And be safe. Both of you. Sigurd. Shall we then, Eivor? To Norway, and well beyond. To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! So strange. Little has changed. But it feels... unfamiliar. Our few years abroad have shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. And it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. Harold's fair hair's kingdom now. Every peak and fjord. 
pains me to say it. To think it even. And our father, his fool. Poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors of this upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to harm the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, a lap dog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. Drives, in spite of our father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. Or it may be you light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame. Bring a sail in! Ha ha ha! Finn on dear Griefer! From sun up That's to right. sundown, we we'll the need, staring into his I remember mind. one nearby. Once, just said one. We should go. Look at him. Father. Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? Interest you? You robbed me of my wealth when you left for England. I presume you would do it again. Not my idea. You left us with nothing when you pledged for King Harald. We took only what we deserved. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it... I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation.
It was your right to pledge your crown to another. And I know you did what you thought best for the safety of our clan. As Harald's forces advanced, I knew we did not have the strength to oppose him. We were too disorganized, too weak. With the sun ever absent, always off raiding in some far-flung land, never concerned with the duties of kingship. What choice did I have but to pledge my allegiance to him? A man with ambition and an army to match it. Absent? I acted only as the son of a king must, to earn you riches, to bring you glory, to praise your name. The people of Constantinople had no use for my name, Sigurd. I needed you here. Listen to this weeping old goat. I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief, your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate, to save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... he was... Uh... He loved you. That is all. Argon nonsense. I've heard enough. Sigurd. From the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He is my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. This sad business is finished. And good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Eivor. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Eivor, where have you gone? Eivor, with me! Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, 
Your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hurdafilke. The Saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know. You're not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oaths, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Hey! <laughs> Let's go. Run up the yeah. stairs! The daughters of Aegir bless our passage. Yes, I feel a great Let's calm go. as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the Elf King, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he'll push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England. We stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy folks. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful fear. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flail, with every scar, with the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. But she was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our pants on the tables and meat halls. Not even my father. There is the cigarette I know of. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I am with you, brother. Until the end.
white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! You know the way. As I know my own mind, we will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw. Do not worry. Familiar! Eivor! We will press on! The rest of you, wait here! What's wrong with you? Of snow. Sigurd, can we not wait for this to pass? Ah, the sting of ice on skin. Revel in this, Eivor. We walk the footpath of the gods. To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow. To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With this ship where we have mead and food to warm us? No! We must confront the omens and honor the gods! They will not seek or find you! We must go to them! We would be poor company with frozen bones and ice pellets for ice. You need not fear the cold, Eivor. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch. It is bitter cold, as wind from Niflheim. Keep steady! It should not be far now!
It must be near! I know the shape of these rocks! Yes! We are close! For the sake of frozen fingers, I hope so. There. The frozen lake. This must be it. And ahead lies a cavern. Will you not say where this leads? You will see soon enough. Too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate! The ice looks fragile. Can you clear it? <laughs> My heart races. This is it. Gods. This door. Have you seen this before? The space above. The saga stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svachoi nogvat uns membro trurvon di gvorde, uns solas vras gnogadide, uns um hukas reis derae chasaumsi. How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come. Gods. What is this place? Over here, this plate will lead us onward. Hoerasi! Strange. Trust this place, Eivor. This old and sacred place. Where does it lead? To the Hall of the Slain and the Golden Fields. To Valhalla. This vessel, was it crafted by dwarves? It is finely made, that much is true. I doubt Gunnar could hammer a piece any finer. And this cavern, so deep and humming with magic. There, the old tree, the tree of life. What is this? See how proudly she sits, how beautiful she gleams. Here, all the roots of life run together. Skulls would cry to behold such a sight. And there is more to come. I swear by all the names of the Old Father, this is only a taste of what I have in store for you. For my visions go further, to Odin's great hall. There, 
Do you feel that? The sacred energies. I have never seen something so grand. This shrine is ours. It will open for us. Watch and see for yourself. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this and more. Yes, it is returning to me now. This ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal. And these shining arms, these branches, they will grant us access to the refuse of the gods, to Valhalla. Are you ready? What lies beyond all... Take your... Hail you givers, the guest has come. What is this place? Mother, Svala, you have a keen eye, Wolfkist. After all this time, Eivor, we have arrived. Now raise a horn with Freya here and sing a victory song. Sigurd, what is all this? Your arm has returned, and your vicar as well. Glory eternal, Eivor. Here we dine in the great hall of the slain, at long last. Oh, I want to scream with joy. This is... This is all so beautiful. Your visions were... They were real. The battle has grows! Come, dear! To the field! Fight with us! Go, Evo. Enjoy the fight. You have earned your place here. <laughs> This 
place is incredible. Enough with those short flies. You and I must fight. The battle we never had. And hold nothing back, for here we need not fear a thing. Spill the eternal blood of Valhalla. At last, I share the din of infinite battle with a few. Brother. Worry not, Eivor. <laughs> for we earn no scars here. Only battle wisdom. The is done. What just happened? Never gone anywhere. Not truly. Nothing is permanent. Are we immortal in this place? <laughs> New day. Marrow's bed. Again, you've lost your arm. And again, it will return. Father, is that you? Cheer. Dearest Scar It is. It is quite something. Raise your horn, Evo. What stopped my father, Varen? I have not. No, he died a coward. Yet by Odin's eye, I swear I have seen him. Cast aside your cares in Valhalla. Let seeking go. We have earned our joy. I saw you, father. Where are you? Show you. 